Yokai. Monsters. Ghosts. Phantasms. Mythical creatures. Spirits of Japan. One quiet night in the city of Kyoto, a young mother looked out her window to see what was the curious sound disrupting the typical silence at this hour. To her horror, she saw a large wheel of an ox cart on fire rolling through the middle of the street. In addition, a horrific head of an old man emanated from the hub of the wheel. It caught the gaze of the woman and yelled, Instead of looking at me, you should better look at your child. Petrified, she turned around to see that her baby was lying on the floor, screaming in a pool of his own blood, with both of his arms and legs seemingly ripped off. She heard the man in the wheel menacingly cackling, so the woman turned around again and saw the monster chewing on her baby's limbs as it continued to roll through and out of the town. This was the Wanyudo. The earliest records of this terrifying yokai date back almost a thousand years and was mostly a tale carried around the city of Kyoto. According to one myth of its creation, a tyrannical daimyo or powerful feudal lord who would abuse and torture his rivals would show off their barely conscious bodies around the area by placing them in the back of the ox cart which he drove. Eventually, he was struck down and beheaded by an unknown assailant, possibly a ninja. However, he returned from the underworld as a crazed head, riding an ox wheel on fire, continuing to unleash blood and violence unto all those he came across. Based on another legend, the yokai is not a single entity, but a large group of beings sent from hell to patrol the streets of the city, or even fly through the sky in search of corrupt priests or other evil people to feed on and bring their souls back to hell. Some say that by carrying out these deeds, the Wanyudo can redeem themselves and move to a positive afterlife. Whatever the belief concerning its origin, the yokai is known to terrorize innocent people as well. Even a glance at it is enough to cause a fierce fever for the observer. If a person and Wanyudo's eyes meet, it will change course and attack them, bringing death to those who caught its sight or their family. There is nothing that can stop it once it decides to attack. And the best way to prevent it from targeting you is to stay indoors at night and simply not look at it, keeping the windows firmly shuttered. Another common belief is that writing Kono Tokoro Shobo no Sato or This place is the town of Shobo on a sacred sheet of paper or Ufuda strip and pasting it onto the front door would be enough to keep the yokai away from one's home. This is derived from an old anecdote in which a disciple of Confucius, the Chinese philosopher and politician, refused to enter the town of Shobo because its name could be interpreted as meaning to triumph over one's mother. It is unclear how this story ultimately became part of the Wanyudo's mythos. In 1779, Illustrator Toriyama Sekien published The Illustrated 100 Demons from the Present and the Past, the second book in his tetralogy of yokai illustrations, which detailed Wanyudo along with another yokai which bore a striking resemblance to it, Katawa Guruma. It too consisted of a large ox cart wheel on fire, but unlike the Wanyudo's disembodied head, this wheel was being ridden by a woman burning in agony for eternity. As it rolled through the streets of towns and cities, it could put curses onto those who happened to look at it and was known to take away children of unobservant mothers. Simply discussing it in local groups of gossip would cause illness to all exposed to the story, eventually bringing entire towns down under a cloud of hysterical sickness or even death. The 1677 collection of ghost stories, a hundred stories of local provinces, tells a story of the yokai named Katawa Guruma, which would come every night to Higashi no Toin Street in Kyoto forcing the local inhabitants to stay indoors when the skies got dark. This was the origin of the story of a mother peeking out the window to look at the yokai to return finding its baby with their limbs ripped off. 
This recounting of the Katawa Gurama describes the phantasm as a burning ox cart wheel with the head of an old man in the middle, matching the description of the Wanyudo. It seemed that before Toriyama made the distinction in his book of yokai depictions, Katawa Gurama, translating as one wheeled cart, could have been a wheel ridden by an old man's head or a woman interchangeably, depending on the region and version of the story. Whereas Wanyudo, translating as wheel priest, was only designated to the decapitated head variant of the yokai. Kyoto had a longer history of the tyrannical daimyo turned yokai, while Shiga Prefecture, to the east of the ancient capital, held more sightings of the burning woman in the wheel. Both are certainly stemming from a single source, which changed appearance after reinterpretations from having their stories carried primarily through word of mouth. The female Katawa Guruma has the distinction of showing that it has a merciful side. In one tale, perhaps a sanitized corruption of the previously referenced story, a young mother looked out her window to witness the Katawa Guruma, who told her that she should instead be looking at her daughter. Upon turning around, instead of the gruesome scene attributed to the Wanudo, her daughter had disappeared from the house, presumably taken away by the Katawa Guruma. The next day, the woman wrote a poem, blaming herself for what had happened, and spread her tale of woe around the town. After seeing that she was indeed a good mother who regretted her actions, the Katawa Guruma left the young girl at the steps of a shrine, unharmed, reuniting her with her mother. There are several possible interpretations for the purpose of the Wanudo and Katawa Guruma. Some theorize that the yokai originates from Buddhist mythology, and that the ox wheel represents samsara, or the endless cycle of birth, life, and rebirth. The hub represents moral discipline, the spokes are rods of wisdom, and the rim symbolizes the training and concentration that hold the entire wheel together. In the case of the Wanyudo, a crazed severed head is located at the moral center of the cyclical wheel of life, which is on fire. A possible representation of how low morals and bad deeds can cause chaos and destruction to one's life. A more simple explanation for its purpose is to serve as a ghost story to scare parents into looking after their children, to always keep at least one eye on them at all times, and foster a safe environment for them. It is a cautionary fable to remind you that you must always be on your guard when caring for a child, and not let yourself needlessly get distracted and let your eye wander. For curiosity kills the baby.